So after managing contacts, the main feature in System.io is the ability to create entire sales funnels in just a few clicks. So you click to funnels. Right now we don't have any funnel yet. So I'm gonna create one funnel and you will see it's very easy to do. So let's say, let's say it's a, you know, like a test funnel. So here I have a few options, you know, it can be uh, a sales funnel to build an audience, to sell stuff, can be a custom um, sales funnel, or I can run an evergreen webinar. Here I can choose the currency. So let's choose the US, US dollar. All right, there it is. So basically when I choose custom, I'm not gonna have any page, okay? So let's go with this. I will show you the feature and then I'm gonna show you in detail how to create a more specific sales funnel. So this is the view you have to manage your sales funnel. So here you can, you have the list of all the pages you created. So let's say I want to create, you know, just a, uh, let's say a squeeze page. So I choose the type squeeze page. Yeah. So there it is. This icon here means that I don't have, I haven't chosen any template yet. So I have some template I can choose from. Uh, if you want more templates, feel free to reach out to us and let us know which template you want and we'll be happy to, to add it to the list. So here you have the so the step configuration so let's say i'm gonna i'm gonna select this one it's quite nice yep so now i have the step uh settings so that's the name of the page the url path here of course you can um you can actually link your own domain to use your own domain instead of this system that are your subdomain here and here you have the uh, the ability to copy the link to the page. So let's save the funnel, click view, and there it is. You have the whole page and you can edit it as you want, okay? So here you have some automation rules. You can uh, create automation rules directly here in this thumbnail. So some automation rules related to this uh, funnel, sales funnel step. Here you have the ability to run split tests. Here you can see the stats and here you can see the actual list of people who purchase your product. So it's quite, um, it's quite practical. You can review all the customers of one specific sales funnel. So I can add more steps. Let's say that I want to have a thank you page after the opt-in. So I will choose this type here and there it is and you have two templates let's choose this one and there it is you see so I click save of course I'm free to you know change the order I can add as many steps as I want and here I have the ability to set an inactive page so it's very convenient for example if you have um, um, an offer that's time limited when uh, time is over, you can actually disable the whole funnel. So all the pages become unavailable and visitors will be redirect redirected to this inactive page. So here you can, for example, add an opt-in form so that, for example, if you've just done a big launch with affiliates, uh, you can actually uh, collect leads from this page. So let's go back. Here you have the sales funnels settings so here i can actually use different domains if i have linked other domains to my account which i can do by clicking here in custom domains okay so here you have plenty of settings so in the next video i'm going to show you how to create a sales funnels to build your email list